these brothers and you've got these sisters who are like you know the you know the, they call them the um, the Facebook ulama you know the Facebook ulama and they're the Twitter muftis you know the Twitter Twitter muftis that's what they are and they think you know or they, or they, they're some kind of you know um, uh, online jihadis you got these online jihadis. I don't know if you know about these online jihadis. What they do is they, they really, really spoil all, for all of us. Because what happens is these non-Muslims, they come on the internet and they start saying bad stuff about Allah, bad stuff about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi bad stuff about the Quran, about Muslims, right? Brothers, sisters, come on. Just, just allow them to do it. Allah said to us in the Quran, Allah says to us in the Quran, they will do it. Allah says, you know, what's coming out of them, uh, Allah says, what's coming out of the mouth is not that bad. Allah says, you want to see what's inside their hearts. وَمَا تُخْفِي صُدُورُهُمْ أَكْبَرُ Allah says, you know what's in their hearts about the hatred about you? Now, I'm not talking about all of them. There are some of them, okay? Allah says, وَمَا تُخْفِي صُدُورُهُمْ أَكْبَرُ Surah Ali Imran. Uh, around uh, ayah 115 you'll find it around there Allah says what's inside the heart is worse now brothers sisters come on they did it in front of Sayyidina Nuh they swore at him they, they did it in front of Sayyidina Hud Sayyidina Salih they did it to Sayyidina Ibrahim they tried to put him in the fire forget swearing at Sayyidina Ibrahim they said get in the fire we're going to burn you they did it to Sayyidina you know you name him Sayyidina Musa it's in the Quran um, don't be like those people who, who hurt Musa they did it to Sayyidina Isa they tried to kill him they tried to crucify him what do you mean they said a few swear words to the Prophet Sallallahu and you basically get really you know these jihadis they get excited that's it they get excited yeah so they say some bad words to one of these you know what, what happens then these Muslims they get on there they say oh you <coughs> How dare you say that you come in front of my face and you say that I'm going to bust you, I'm going to kick you, I'm going to I'm going to do this to your mother, I'm going to do that. That's what they do, what that's what they write. And the Muslims are writing this. Who in the world told you to be an online jihadi? Because all I know is you're doing more damage to Islam than doing any, any good. Because then what those non-Muslims do is they say, ah, did you see? These Muslims, they swear. These Muslims, they're bad inside them. See, these Muslims, they argue like this. These Muslims, they're foul-mouthed. These Muslims, they've got, they've got this, X, Y, They make the impression of us. Akhi, you haven't got any good thing to say back to them. Just stay silent. Just stay silent. Sukut. Rasulullah sallallahu said that, Sahih hadith Bukhari. Man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmin akhir fal yakul khayran aw liyasmut. Whosoever believes in Allah and His Messenger, then he should either say something good or just stay silent. If you haven't got anything to write good on the internet, just stay silent. And you know what most of these guys, what's funny about them is, they say all of that because they know their name is, the, the, the guy's name might be, you know, Yahya or something. But his online name is Jane. Or it might be Samantha. You know, there's that, there's that, you know, there's all these... There's weird things happening, I tell you guys, there's really weird things happening uh, around us and on the internet and whatever is happening, honestly. And the guy knows, no one knows who he is, he's behind the screen, no one's going to pick on him, no one's going to ever see who he is, no one's going to ever chase him, no one's going to ever find him, so he writes whatever abuse he wants. And I'm telling you brothers and sisters, you, especially you young brothers and sisters, don't get excited about this. Look, just do your khayr, just do your good deeds. Allah Azza wa Jalla wants to see us do good deeds and he wants us to practice what we know, halas. Now in practicing, there's two ways of looking at it. One is you look at aksar, which is you want to make the most abundant of actions. Another one is you want to make it ahsan, the most beautiful of actions. Mm -hmm.